forecast with Chief Meteorologist Joe Calhoun. Not much going on for us right now, but there are some trouble spots, I'll tell you. Look at all this moisture down in here, and yeah, some heavy thunderstorms, and yeah, there's some snow back here. We heard from Chicago where they're getting a little break right now, but the system is just off to their north and west. And gradually, it's going to pull in some more cold air. But this is a cold front, and there's another uh, area of low pressure that's down over Louisiana. They've had about eight tornadoes reported in parts of Louisiana, Mississippi, over toward uh, the uh, Florida Panhandle. So severe weather down there. Just that gray, murky, low gray cloudiness over the Susquehanna Valley, but that is heading in our direction. So, right now, nothing really happening, even hardly any precipitation, just kind of drizzly out there. Watch for the fog, but it's really not all that dense. Here, live on Super Doppler 8, nothing showing up. A little area of rain up toward the Schuylkill Valley, but that's it. You'll see more rain, I think, late tonight. So if you have to travel and you're heading out this evening, you're in good shape. Temperature-wise, no problems with freezing. We're in the mid to upper 40s. Probably going to hang in the 40s all night long. I don't think we'd go anywhere temperature-wise. Tomorrow, we really start to go up a bit more. Here's a live look from our Hershey Sky Cam. You can see that damp, gray, gloomy weather. We've had it since yesterday. We're going to have it into tomorrow. And watch for the fog overnight tonight and the drizzle. So here's your forecast as we go through the evening hours. Just kind of damp and drizzly, some patchy fog, low 40s. Low 40s overnight tonight. I think more rain will start to move in from south to north later tonight, probably after about 2 or 3 in the morning. But it should be raining as you get up tomorrow morning. We'll see periods of rain, especially east of the river, turning breezier as the day goes on. But mild. We'll be in the mid to upper 50s. But Mind you, these temperatures aren't going to come till late in the day or maybe even tomorrow evening at this time or even later. We could be up near 60 before midnight, then a cold front comes through. Let's time it out. Nothing happening this evening. As we get to the overnight, here comes that first period of rain. We get another one in the afternoon. Then things start to shove east a little more later in the day and into tomorrow night. Make it a break, like I said, for tomorrow evening. But then on Christmas Day, all shoves off to the east. It's windy. It's a little chilly. Could be a passing flurry. Only going to be in the 40s. Then 40s again on uh, Friday, but a little closer to 50s. A little milder should be a, a decent day on Friday. It looks good on Saturday, too. Up near 50 degrees. Watching another system late in the weekend. That could bring us a chance of some precipitation. But temperatures tomorrow in the 50s. Reminded me, what is our warmest Christmas? Posted that on Facebook. Go to our Storm Team Facebook page. Give me your answer. I'll have the answer for you coming up tonight on News 8 at 6. In the Lancaster Toyota Trafax Command Center, a little bit of gloomy weather out there. Is it affecting travel, Don? Well, Joe, yes, it is. Looking at our color coded map here, we can see that there is the potential for foggy road conditions throughout much of the Susquehanna Valley, all the way from Mifflin County down to York County and over to Franklin County. There's a lot of accidents to get through tonight, more than two dozen throughout the Susquehanna Valley. Let's start.